Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can determine Goins D for paired samples t-test with Python 3 in Jupyter Lab. So after paired samples t-test you probably want an effect size. There are a few different uh, options out there but Goins D is probably the most frequently one used. Um, there are however a few variations on this um, and the one I'm using for the paired version is actually Cohen's DZ um, with a correction proposed by Hedges for small sample sizes. For the interpretation later on uh, we can use this table uh, that's a rule of thumb so it's not uh, set in stone or anything but um, I always like those rule of thumbs if I can find them. This is however Cohen's D and he does uh, note that you can transform that DZ by using DZ times the square root of 2. So let's see how that works. Um, I need an example data so I have uh, some data that is in a CSV file and I'll load it as a pandas data frame so I'm going to import pandas as pd so that's just an abbreviation that can be used then if you've never used a particular package you can often use exclamation uh, pip install and then the name of the package so that it gets installed and then you can import it so the uh, loading the data I can then use the pandas read csv and head will show me the first five records now it only contains three fields as you can see before, after and the difference actually between the two. The t-test function from research pi can then give me Cohen's d directly. So I'm going to use that one and then simply run that one and look at the results. There's a whole lot of results including actually the paired samples t-test but in this case I'm interested in Cohen's d and as you can see it's minus 0.4897. Now this result is actually a tuple, so there's uh, this part, the beginning, up till here, that's a small little table with some basic info, and then there's another table with uh, the test results. So it's in that second one, so as an index 1, because it starts counting at 0. Then at row 6 there's Cohen's D, and I just want the values, I can type in 1, and that actually gives me then that value separately. I need to multiply that with that square root of 2, so 2 times times means to the power of 0 0.5, which is then the same as actually uh, a square root, so minus 0 0.69. So if we take the absolute value and look in that table from the introduction, that would classify it as median, because if I scroll all the way back up, it will fit into this category, so median. Now I can also let Python do that work for me if I just convert that table into a uh, bunch of if uh, with elif statements and that should return also then nicely media. Now for those interested I'll go over the formulas in Appendix 1. I'll quickly go over that here in the video but I'll leave a link to this Jupyter notebook in the description of the video. And uh, another warning is that Pingoian actually also has a Cohen's D um, when it reports a paired, val uh, paired samples t-test, but they're using the unpaired formula for it, which is somewhat incorrect there. So uh, in Appendix 2 I will show that that's actually what they use, and it's really in Cohen's book on page 48 where you can see that he uses an example for paired data and uses the formula of the DZ. Um, so the hard way, well, uh, I convert my two uh, data series to a list, so that's pandas, uh, Python's native. I can get the number of scores, that's going to be useful with a len. And then I can actually uh, use these two formulas, either this one or that one. And um, then calculate the difference but for each pair, so that's where we're going to start. So for each uh, pair I'm going to use calculate the difference in a loop. Then I can determine the differences, uh, the, the mean of all those differences. So that's like that. The sum of squares is then uh, each one minus that mean of differences and then squared, so I can use that. The variance is then uh, that one divided by the number of uh, pairs that we have minus 1, so I can do like that. The standard deviation is then the square root out of that. And then finally that uh, Cohen's D, that is then the mean of the differences divided by the standard deviation of the differences, and indeed that's the minus 48. 
Uh, the uh, other version of the formula, uh, we can uh, need the standard error, so that's the standard deviation divided by the square root of the number of pairs that we had. And then we need the t value, which is actually the mean of the d's divided by the standard error. And then we can calculate Cohen's d using the t value divided by the square root of n, and indeed that gives the same result. Now, as I mentioned earlier, Pingoian makes a small error. If I run the Pingoian uh, paired samples t-test, I do get a Cohen's d, but as you can see, that's a different result than we had up here. And what they are doing is actually uh, this formula, where so they're seeing each before and after in my example as separate. And then your n1 is basically the same as my n was, and also n2 is the same as n was. And and the big N is then this one plus that one. So if I run that, uh, this part, then I indeed get that minus 0 0.44 that they report over here. But I think that's incorrect for paired values. So perhaps they change it in the future. I don't know. Uh, I hope this video was helpful and thank you for watching.